All right, guys, so I ended up buying the truck I was talking to you guys about there in the last video. It is an 89 uh, D250, and we went and, I don't know, went with the gooseneck in the third gen and ended up picking it up. Turned out to be what I thought it was. I mean, it was pretty big. It wasn't even really for sale. A guy just messaged me and told me that he had it, and I decided to go pick it up. So without further ado, Here's our little walk around. Here is the tailgate panel that I was telling you about, and it is about as good as I've ever seen in person. Probably the cleanest one I've ever seen in person. It, it, I mean, it needs cleaned off. It's kind of dusty, but there is not a dent or ding in the panel. The red obviously kind of needs, it needs peeled off and then put new vinyl on or something. But here she is. Now, uh, the front half is kind of dinged up. It was a farm truck, so it's got dents, I mean, in the doors and everything, but the bed is about as clean as they get as well. There is not a spot of rust on it, and it is already called for, just by the way, and I believe the tailgate's already called for. The only bad part of the bed is this, the, the bumper got pushed into it, so there's a little dent right here. This tail light is all right. There's a little crack in the bottom. This one's screwed and yeah it has 154,000 miles it is a non-intercooled truck uh, the pump has all the tamper proof caps besides the smoke screw go figure but the fuel screw does have tamper proof caps still on it uh, fresh fuel filter change and fresh oil change as well and yeah I mean it's it is what it is. It's a donor truck. That's why I bought it. So obviously it's not very straight. I'm not going to be using the body. It's going to be coming off anyway. With that being said, if you guys want any of it, let me know. But the bed and the tailgate are called for. I know that this stuff isn't that straight, but uh, the cab is definitely worth some money. There's not a spot of rust on it. The cab itself doesn't have any dents. It's the door that has majority of the dents along with the fenders. The interior, it is an LE truck, so it, it's pretty about as good as they came for back then power windows the interiors actually i mean right now obviously it's dirty but this will all clean up i'm gonna detail the inside of it so i can get some stuff sold because i need it need money for the project but yeah it's an automatic truck le does not have a radio so that's the only thing it really doesn't have but yeah bench seats doesn't have any tear tears it's in good shape so i'm going to clean it off real good and we'll let somebody buy that it does have some trim around the edges not a lot of it is good but i will be selling that stuff too so everything on this thing from the body to the interior is for sale what i'm using is the engine i'm probably going to get rid of the trans it's a 727 it shifts fine and everything but don't want it so I'm going to be using the engine, the frame, the axles, the whole rolling chassis is what I'm in it for. And, and yeah, so unfortunately bumpers are no good. They're all dented. So I'm just going to get rid of a lot of this stuff. But hopefully we can get off to a good start. There is some, there is an issue with one of the power steering lines. I'll have to figure that out. But I'll fi find out more after we get this thing power washed under here. Because if you look, it's all real gunky but 154,000 miles not a lick of blow by uh, she's she's a peach for sure so it, it's slower up on the outside but it, it has what I'm after uh, it does have a spot of rust on it it's a little dinged up because it was a farm truck some old man had it and and yeah so that is kind of the just the little walk around video of the new first gen uh, I'm sure if you, you guys weren't sure if we're going to ever get another one, but this is a circumstance where we're getting another one, but then we're kind of kind of getting rid of it to where it won't have any first-gen left besides the whole rolling chassis and the powertrain. So, yeah. If you want to buy any of this, give me a holler. Uh, it doesn't have the caps or anything like that. and It doesn't have a whole lot of good stuff, but it has enough to sell off of it and hopefully make some money so I can start doing uh, some upgrades and making stuff nicer under here.
first things first uh, we're gonna clean clean it all really good then we're gonna pull everything off wire wheel the frame paint it uh, go through both axles I'd really like to put a Dana 80 in the rear but I don't know if that'll happen I don't like the open differential I can already tell you that because I had posi before and then we'll we get it leveled get it looking right and hopefully an MV4500 in it or an A518 either one whatever I can find for cheap and then we'll put the engine on a stand or just leave it in the frame because it's gonna be easier to get to and do the KDP do a reseal kit and just clean everything up make it look nice and then get it running right but yeah so all all this stuff is gonna be coming out you the jack assembly and all that under the hood is gonna come out so whatever you guys want give me a holler um, hit me up on social media whichever you prefer or I have my email is gavinhuke at gmail.com all lowercase uh, feel free to contact me there but only if you're serious don't be contacting me or emailing me if you're not serious it's just kind of a waste of time and uh, the stuff's gonna be getting pulled off and, and sold otherwise I'm just gonna throw it away so you guys uh, can make that decision but that's just about that it or about it for that video and yeah here's the new here's the new first gen see you guys later